This episode is brought to you by CuriosityStream, home to over 2,400 nonfiction titles from some of the world's best filmmakers, including exclusive originals. Sign up using the link and promo code below to start a one-month trial absolutely free. Think how much has changed in your lifetime. If you were in your late 20s or early 30s, you can remember a time before the internet really existed. Life before the internet seems almost unfathomable today, but it wasn't that long ago in the grand scheme of things. A hundred years ago, women were given the right to vote in the United States. A thousand years ago, the Vikings, led by Leif Erikson, established small settlements in North America. Ten thousand years ago, the majority of the world's megafauna were going extinct. A hundred thousand years ago, the earliest known structures in the world were built in Egypt. It's hard to conceptualize time over such great spans of history. Since humans tend to live about a hundred years at most, that's our most comfortable time scale. But there are things far older than humans, older than the Earth, and maybe even older than the universe itself. In this episode, we're going to look at a star that seems to break the laws of time and space. Modern humans are about 200,000 years old. The Earth is roughly 4.5 billion years old. The universe itself is a staggering 13.8 billion years old, give or take about 20 million years. Then there's HD 140283, or the Methuselah star. Somehow, when it was first studied, it appeared to be 16 billion years old. How is this possible? Surely nothing could exist before the universe itself. Methuselah is a strange star. We've known about it for over a century, since it stands out among its stellar counterparts. It travels pretty quickly, zipping along at over 1.3 million kilometers per hour, and covers about the width of the full moon in the sky every 1,500 years. Methuselah is currently turning into a red giant, and it has a long elliptical orbit that will eventually take it far outside our neck of the woods and back out to the very rim of the Milky Way. After the initial confusion surrounding Methuselah's age, Hubble was able to more accurately determine how far away it is, which in turn helped astronomers figure out the star's intrinsic brightness, a huge help in determining any star's age. Hubble found that HD 140283 resides about 190.1 light years away. Pretty far. With this information, as well as the discovery that Methuselah has a high oxygen to iron ratio, astronomers were able to whittle down the star's approximate age to 14.5 billion years, with a margin of error of plus or minus 800 million years. 14.5 billion years old is still considerably older than the universe, but if we subtract that 800 million year margin of error, the star could potentially be as young as 13.7 billion years old, just barely younger than the universe at 13.8 billion. So it is possible that Methuselah doesn't break the laws of time and space, but only if we assume that the entirety of the margin of error is used to bring down its age. It's quite possible that the star is older than 14.5 billion years and we've somehow gotten the age of the universe completely wrong, despite our exceptionally accurate measurements. If that's the case, what else have we been wrong about? We would need to go back to the drawing board for the formation of the early universe, which could spark a scientific revolution in how we understand the natural world. Unsurprisingly, there's been a lot of debate among the scientific community regarding how to square Methuselah's apparent age with the supposed age of the universe. Some have suggested that the universe has not one, but two different ages, due to recent studies which seem to show nearby galaxies are hundreds of millions of years younger than the heat from the Big Bang would indicate. Others have taken to devising new forms of physics to explain a so-called force from nowhere, which could help explain cosmic expansion and resolve the issue of the universe containing stars older than itself. Some have even gone so far as to call the problem a scientific crisis. Whatever the explanation, the universe has once again found a way to keep us humble, and remind us that no matter how smart we think we are, there will always be something we don't understand. And that's pretty exciting. Speaking of trying to understand things, if you're like me and you love to learn new and interesting things, I highly recommend you check out CuriosityStream. If you like today's topic, you'll love their episode on the first stars. CuriosityStream is the world's first streaming service for people like us, people on a lifelong quest to learn and understand. They've got over 2,400 documentaries from some of the best filmmakers in the game, and they've got a bunch of material on astronomy, like the first stars. They have a huge catalog, including content on science, nature, astronomy, technology, and lifestyle. Unlimited access starts at just $2.99 a month, and as a special offer just for you guys, you can get one month absolutely free by following the link below and using the code SECONDTHOUGHT during signup. CuriosityStream is available on all sorts of platforms, including the web app, Roku, Android, Xbox One, Smart TVs, iOS, Chromecast, Amazon Fire, Kindle, and Apple TV. So wherever you are, you'll always have access to great, interesting content. Give CuriosityStream a shot and sign up for your one-month free trial by visiting curiositystream.com secondthought and using the code secondthought.